Hey what's up guys I'm Nizio Cole and the mod menu for Watch Dogs Legion is finally released. Last year I did a video on the mod menu for Watch Dogs 2 and now Nomad Group, the same developers that made that script hook have come back to create one for Legion. So let's get into it. So once you go and download the script hook and run it, the install process is pretty much the same as the one for Watch Dogs 2. Once you install it and you start up your game, you'll be greeted with kind of a startup menu. And this just has a whole bunch of like basic settings about the script hook before you launch your game. Like the first option is literally just an option for the startup menu. You can check or uncheck if you want it to show up before you start the game. It's a crash reporter, discord rich presence, and something for the Lua scripts. And as well as those options, there's a tab for the keybinds. So default keybinds are Lua console F3. Trainer menu is F4, just like the previous script hook. Free cam is F7 and no clip is F6, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now remember this mod does disable multiplayer by default just like the previous one and it has been officially approved and verified by Ubisoft. I'll leave a tweet by them in the description if you guys want to go check that out. So once you load into single player there'll be a notice that pops up on your screen that lets you know that the script hook has been installed successfully. Now let's get into the menu. So once you open up the menu, the first option we have is player. There's an invincibility mode, an unlimited ammo mode, and a no clip slash fly mode, as well as an option to be able to adjust the no clip speed. Now the next section is the camera section, and in here we actually have some pretty cool options. So we have a free cam check mark, free cam speed, free cam shift speed, reset to player, and a pretty strange big bin option, which just teleports you underneath the world facing big bin. Not really sure what that's for, but the coolest thing in this menu is the cinematic submenu. So what you can basically do is set up different camera angles in different parts of the world, and you can actually animate them together and choose how long it takes to go from one camera to the other. And you can loop them, and then you can turn it into a boomerang, and I can see this being really, really cool for people who make cinematic videos for games or or like they're like video game filmmakers. So the next section is the teleport section and this is exactly what it sounds like. You can teleport to different high profile areas on the map and you can also print your exact coordinates out on the screen. And this is really cool because you can actually teleport to some story locations after the story mission is done and all the assets are unloaded but the area is still there so it's just like an empty room and now in the vehicle tab you can pretty much spawn any vehicle in the game in here there's a warp to spawn vehicles so that's just if you spawn a vehicle you'll get into it automatically check mark and then go into spawn you can spawn literally everything motorcycles boats all the cars and trucks and surprisingly more drones than i realized were even in the game also this really weird rc car that I've never seen before. If you guys know where this is from, let me know down in the comment section. Now on to the last tab in the script hook menu. And this is actually my favorite one. It is the environment tab. So you can pretty much go ham and do whatever you want with this. You can change the time and you can add or subtract an hour or a minute. You can change the time scale, which is basically how fast things happen, how fast the day night cycle is going. So you don't have to literally wait all day for the time to pass. The weather tab's got some really, really cool effects. There's so many weather effects in this tab. Some of them look really weird. Some of them are story specific weather states. So like certain missions turn the sky purple or have some really weird weather effects and you can access any of them that you want. The next one we have is world spawner. And this basically is a check mark that if you uncheck it, all of the NPCs, all of the cars, everything that's moving and animated and, and making noise is going to be despawned from the world. It actually gets really, really quiet. And the other check mark in here is World Imposter, and that is all of the, the cars and kind of fake cars and fake NPCs that load in at a distance. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll kind of zoom in on the screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. In the world loading units, this is basically where you can go into story locations or, or, or certain buildings and you can unload the world and reload it. And the last one is the spawn entities tab and this one is cool. Pretty much any prop in the game, anything animated, any hackable items, any graffiti, any holograms, you can spawn with this. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in the script hook. I will have the download link to this mod menu in the description as well as Nomad Group's Twitter to follow them for updates if you'd like and a tutorial on how to install it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.